This video shows you the top 10 NBA players who will break out in the 2023-24 season. From late bloomers who are finally coming into their own, Hachimura again on the drive and scores! Rowie Hachimura! Two athletic beasts about to put the world on notice. The Hawks are still over. Here's Eason oh. by himself in the open floor with the hammer. You're gonna get to know plus see a ranking based off current value of the best players that'll explode onto the scene. Keep it here to find out the best player with the most untapped upside at number one. Just a heads up, this ranking leaves out players who are rookies in this upcoming season. Number 10, Tari Eason. The Houston Rockets combo forward was a hustle beast on the O glass throughout his first campaign in the association. Suiting up in all 82 games for Houston, Tari made the all rookie second team and was number one among all small forwards by a significant amount in total offensive rebounds. On the other side, he showed off the upside to develop into one of the best lockdown defenders in the game of basketball, displaying the mobility and adaptability to guard positions 1 through 5. Eason's 7-2 reach, quick hands, laterality, wide base, low center of gravity, and unprompted reactivity allowed him to lead the entire NBA last season in loose balls recovered. Tari's 11-inch hand width resembles Kawhi, and if he keeps steadily developing his offensive skill set, he can potentially get close to reaching Leonard's level as the years progress. With Eason, Jabari Smith Jr., and Alperin Shengun, the Rockets' depth up front has a ton of potential. Number 9, Keegan Murray. The Sacramento Kings small forward broke the league record for three pointers made by a first year player. He won Western Conference Rookie of the Month in both January and February and led all NBA freshmen in three-point percentage. A floor spacer that De'Aaron Fox had been craving for years prior to Murray's arrival in the association, Keegan was a catalyst behind Sacktown ending the longest playoff drought in North American major sports history. With an unstoppably high arcing release, having showed the ability to get into the lane off the bounce for one-legged faders and attack through traffic to the cup, Keegan's offensive game is already well-rounded, but further polishing his repertoire as a creator will be essential for both his individual growth and Sacramento building off a successful 22-23 campaign. Number 8, Jalen Williams. The Oklahoma City Thunder small forward is the third straight player to open this video that made an all-rookie team in 22-23. Known as J-Dub, this man was even in the race for the Rookie of the Year at one point, given he led all first-year players in steals per game, was fourth in points per game among freshmen, and had the highest field goal percentage out of any of the top 10 rookie scores. All of elusive, crafty, speedy, and long with an extremely high IQ, Jalen's elite at using angles in terms of navigating a path for himself to get downhill, and with his ability to read coverages while being able to see over the top of the defense, He's going to be a great playmaker that takes pressure off SGA and Giddy for many years to come. Number 7, Tyus Jones. The Washington Wizards point guard will have the opportunity to be a full-time starter for the very first time in his career with a new organization. In 535 games between Minnesota and Memphis since entering the league in 2015, Tyus started just 17% of those games. The sharpshooting playmaker has deserved more minutes for a very long time but he began his time in the association behind Ricky Rubio, then after signing in Memphis, he was slotted behind Ja Morant. Tyus always held down the fort for the Grizz when Ja was out, helping them to a 20-5 record without Ja back in 2021-22, games in which he averaged 13 points, 7 assists, and 30 minutes played on a shooting split of 45-40-84. Expect the fundamentally sound quarterback in Jones to average career highs across the board for a Washington team that's in rebuild mode in 23-24. Number 6, Scotty Barnes. The Toronto Raptors combo forward was the rookie of the year the season before this past one, and while he's coming off a bit of a sophomore slump, the versatility and jump out of the gym springiness was nevertheless too intriguing to leave him off this list. Barnes ranked 25th among all players in total points scored from the post, ranking him just ahead of LeBron James and Jason Tatum in that category. He was second among all sophomores when it came to points scored from that area, only trailing Alperin Shengun of the Rockets. 
An overwhelming combination of strength, force, finesse, and body control around the bucket is what Barnes should base his game around in year three. But you can't help but marvel at the times when he hits you with a saucy dribble combo before letting it fly from deep, upside that makes him resemble a future Giannis Adetokounmpo with a jumper. Year three should be a massive one for Barnes if he's developed correctly. Number five, Jalen Green. The Houston Rockets shooting guard is one of the smoothest and funnest to watch young offensive creators in the game. The pure shot creator combines his handle on a string with nifty shooting mechanics, thunderous bunnies, and 99 overall speed. He needs to be more efficient to take the next step into an all-star caliber player, as while his second pro season saw him up his rebound, point, and assist averages, Green's deep range and field goal percentage took a slight dip. Adding more strength and being a tad bit more of a pass-first player wouldn't hurt he or the Rockets' progression. Increased muscle would make Jalen slashing more of a threat and open up space for his ability to knock down threes off the bounce. Increased movement would allow him to improve his ability to move without the basketball, allow him to take more spot-up threes, and therefore boost his percentage from beyond the arc near the 40% plateau, which is where it needs to be if he's going to be taking over 7 triples per game. If Green commits to developing his physique and team-focused mentality, which his new backcourt partner Fred Van Vliet should help with, there's no stopping his future as a top player in the NBA. Again, Houston is loaded with young talent. Number 4. Josh Giddy. The Oklahoma City Thunder point forward is just about the opposite of the previous ranked Jalen Green in terms of the fact that his bag offensively isn't deep whatsoever, but he gets it done with unteachable intangibles like IQ and craftiness. He's not the springiest jumper, he isn't equipped with too many dribble combinations, but he's beyond solid on both ends of the court. As the pick and roll creator, Josh knows what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. He's adept at recognizing mismatches before getting his own down low, seamlessly driving and kicking to create open looks, plus spacing the floor out by catching and shooting. Giddy's work ethic shows up in the fact that his second NBA season saw him post career highs by far in field goal, three point, and free throw percentage. Furthermore, in five games for Team Australia at the World Cup, he averaged 19.4 points, exactly six assists, and five rebounds in under 28 minutes per game on over 54% shooting from the field. The 20-year-old bases his game around the fundamentals, a tremendous sign for the progression of any young basketball talent. Number 3, Rui Hachimura. The Los Angeles Lakers combo forward has been spotted working out with one of the best player development trainers in the game, LA assistant coach Phil Handy. While the Japanese wing has never averaged even 14 points per game throughout his four years in the league, three and a half of which were spent in Washington, Rui's defensive rating of 115.8 equates to the 12th best mark among small forwards last season. Pretty good considering he spent the majority of his playing days on a bottom feeder. In the 25-year-old's first two playoff games for the Lakers this past spring, he averaged 24.5 points and in the first round overall, shot 56.9% from the field and 52.4% from distance. In the conference finals against the eventual champions, he shot 7 for 7 in the first half of Game 2 and was one of four Lakers to average 15 plus points per game throughout that series. After being traded to LA mid-season in 22-23, Rui helped the Lakers to a 21-12 record after his arrival and showed the ability to fill out and defend multiple positions for a team that made the NBA's Final Four. Number 2, Cade Cunningham. The Detroit Pistons guard, who was the number one pick in 2021's NBA draft, missed all but 12 games of his sophomore campaign after having surgery on his left shin. At 6'7", 220, Cunningham is a one-of-a-kind talent for his size, has the entire package offensively, can score under pressure, and is an active, wiry defender. Cade knows precisely how to utilize his array of shiftiness, ambidextrous finesse around the hoop, and given how he played as a member of the Team USA Select Team at the Americans training camp for the World Cup, this man is set to bounce back and fulfill the potential he was dubbed with since entering the draft out of Oklahoma State. Number 1, Austin Reeves. The Los Angeles Lakers combo guard has been one of the top players for Team USA at the World Cup 
Just take his most recent step back triple and tip in dunk during the quarterfinals. At times, he'll get targeted defensively, but mostly he makes up for a lack of strength on this end by laying his body on the line to draw charges. He was one of the top charge drawers in 22-23. And he gets satirically overrated due to the fact that he's a fan favorite, but AR-15 is the most valuable player with the most potential in the NBA. Considering he nearly doubled his scoring average as a sophomore during the regular season, then averaged over 21 points and 5 assists per game in the conference finals on a shooting split of 55-56-100. Reeves is one of the best players in basketball at finding the right angles, handling the ball through heavy traffic, and creating something out of nothing for either himself or a teammate. Austin's bag is slippery, mechanical, polished, and given he's got sneaky hops, the Lakers' 25-year-old killer can be impossible to stop when he finds a scoring flow. Who was snubbed from this list or who should be ranked higher? Let me know down below in the comments section.